Hey everybody, I'm James. Grab your Bibles. Let's go through the Word. We're continuing on in Ephesians chapter 5 today and beginning in verse 8. Let's go to it. For you were once darkness, but now you are light in the world. Live as children of light, for the fruit of the light consists in all goodness, righteousness, and truth. And find out what pleases the Lord. Have nothing to do with the fruitless deeds of darkness, but rather expose them. It is shameful even to mention what the disobedient do in secret, but everything exposed by the light becomes visible, and everything that is illuminated becomes a light. This is why it is said, wake up sleeper, rise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. All right, three things I want to focus on here. We were once darkness, but now we are light in the Lord. Jesus Christ is known as the light of the, Lord, light of the world. The light of the world has asked us to be light for the world and point it to him. That is our job. That is our commission. Again, I, I say it often. Uh, now go and make disciples, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey all that I've commanded. We are now the light of the world. We are the light for the world, made that by the light of the world to point it to him. Um, I want to focus on another thing where it says in verse 10, and find out what pleases the Lord. I can't think of a better way to do that, to develop a Bible reading habit. We live a very rushed life. We go from here to there. This culture, it, it really stinks. But we need to be responsible enough. We talked a, a, a couple chapters ago about Christian maturity and sanctification. How can we expect to grow in that if we don't read God's word? And it's not just on Sunday where we have Brad or Micah or somebody else up there uh, preaching to us. We have the ability to take this home. As Christians, as, as people that have died to self and taken on Christ, this should absolutely become something that we are doing daily. We should be reading the Word of God daily. In Psalm 19, it says, Let the meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight. This is how we do it. We read this and we pray. We have to have an intimate relationship with our Savior. How else would we know Him? How else can we find out what pleases Him if we're not interacting with Him? Reading your Bible is a way to do that. Just want to throw that out. Uh, we, we, we talk here, we see, have nothing to do with the fruitless deeds of darkness, but rather expose them. I could take this one way. We, we, if, I want to encourage anybody. If you've got a sin in your life that you need to confess, if you know me, come to me. If, if that's not comfortable for you, go to somebody that you can trust, absolutely. Get it out there. Confess it to the Lord if that's what you must do, but repent. And when I tell you to repent, to turn away from the, from the things that you've been doing that you know are disobedient, I want to say that like, we, are not to, we are to have nothing to do with sin. And I know, yes, it's hard because we still sin as Christians, but we are to have nothing to do with sin. If people are living in unrepentant sin, it's one thing to feel guilty for doing things wrong. It's, it's another to be turned over. We see in Romans chapter 1, claiming to be wise, they became fools, so God turned them over. God gave them up to the desires of their heart. They just don't care. It, it, you're in a dangerous place if you're there, but that guilt that you feel, that Holy Spirit conviction that you might have for something that you know is wrong, that's why we see the psalmist pray, keep your servant from willful sin. Let them not rule over me. And that, that, that's a prayer that we should pray. But with other people's sin as well. Our message when it comes to sin is one of repentance and not acceptance. We are not to accept sin. Do we accept the sinner? Sure, that's, that's not what I'm getting at. I'm pointing out that we are told by the Apostle Paul here to not have anything to do with the deeds of the darkness. We're called out. We are God's holy people. We are to be light for the world as commissioned by the light of the world. It's one thing to, to be accepting of people, but, but our message is one of repentance. Repent and be baptized for the forgiveness of your sins and the gift of the Holy Spirit. We cannot be accepting of sin. We must turn away from it, not, not turn away from people. I'm talking about the acts. It is okay to revile that which God said is sinful. 
The last part I want to look at here, and I think this is actually really cool. It says, wake up, sleeper, rise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. These are beautiful words. But there's a chance that Paul might be quoting an early Christian hymn right there. He might be quoting popular song lyrics of his time right there. And who better to talk about that than our worship minister, Micah Herrick. So I can't build out on it, but the next one, you might want to check it out because Micah is going to talk about what's going on here. So three big things. Read your Bible, have no part with sin, and sing songs about Jesus. Let me pray for you. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you for this time that we get to spend together. Please help us have the boldness to stand up against sin, to run away from it, resist the devil. He will flee from us. You promise us that, and we believe you. We trust you. We thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, and it's in his good name we pray. Amen. See you guys. Remember to like, subscribe, and click that bell.